and we're back in this fuzzy and fight gamer and we're playing dog tales edgar allen poe's the premature burial and this is a collector's edition so there will be a bonus chapter that's a really mouthful to say the title of this game anyway buried alive we actually did read that bent on vengeance we discovered the truth about the angry spirit we have come to think of as our familiar. It's the ghost of Louis Four, Renaud's late wife. She su suffered from catalepsy attacks, which her husband used to his advantage, burying her alive so that he could abscond with her inheritance. Now she rightly seeks revenge. And yes, I do think she has quite a bit of a point. Seek revenge. But I still do not know if I would do that. But then again, I will be extremely angry, to say the least. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Hello. Um, we should tell him that Louis has been buried alive. Um, hello, Mr. Gatesky. I feel I should tell you that Louise Foray, Renelle's first wife, was not dead when she was buried. Oh, this is really low. Okay, sorry, guys. I didn't realize that was this low. Heavens, how could such a thing be true? I remember Madame Foray's funeral some years ago. I always thought it strange that a man of means like Monsieur Foray would have such a quiet and discreet funeral, much like the most recent one from Victorine. No, I'm actually going to try to, to say what he's saying, just in case you guys don't hear him. I'm just gonna try and put his accent on too, whatever. I always I, I can't do this. Okay, I'm just gonna speak normally. I always thought it was strange that a man of means like Monsieur Four would for a would have such a quiet and discreet funeral, much like the his, the most recent one for Victorine. I should say that there is an obvious link between the two deaths, Victorine's and Louise's. I should say that there's an obvious link between the two deaths, Victorine's and Louise's. They were both married to Monsieur Faure and died relatively shortly after being married. Then he buries them both with little to no public presence. They were both married to Monsieur Faure, Faure and died relatively shortly after being married. And then he buries them both with little to no public presence. I believe at this point it is prudent to investigate Monsieur Foray. We must discern his motive for killing his wives and find irrefutable evidence of his guilt. I believe at this point it is prudent to investigate Monsieur Foray. We must discern his motive for killing his wives and find irrefutable evidence of his guilt. By the way, Mr. Top Hat Man is speaking. So now we have a dust rag and nothing else. Okay, we already read that part. Let me just crank up the volume for the voices. That should be good. Continue, no notes for now. And we can head to the city gate and these windows over here so there's a bucket and we need a rag quickly before all the water disappears on us that's one win window it's still very low I don't know if it's just my headphones maybe it is okay and last but not least this other window. What do we have to see? Oh, it's too heavy. We'll need a hook. Like this one, which we have been carrying with us for quite a long time. Quite a long time. There goes our hook. Why is there another block? Why? There is another block. Don't tell me we have to do another block puzzle. Because last time I was just lucky, but I don't know about this time. This document is on the table. It might be worth reading. 
to be flower and deep and do this an American beauty on to equal it's point to number two I don't know if that's or not anyway report oh the oh you no the read this oh the code okay the open the gate has been according to notification of said change has been sent to guard sergeant Lou Balafre at Rue Cemetery 1 apartment 14 sincere oh that's very good that he lives in the exact same as the Mr. what's his name again Mr. 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 Oh wait, wait, I just skipped that. Number 14 is right here. So here goes the, the block yet again. Sergeant, whatever. Let's open the mailbox. Guy. Yeah, we really know this. I'm feeling we, have, we need to use this here. I just have a wicked feeling and I was wrong. Okay. That's like how it was. And okay, now I really messed things up. It's not good. It's not good, yeah? Okay, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I really messed this up, guys. Sorry about that. I think I have it back on track, hopefully enough. To... One, no, okay. I need stand up. Okay, so I need, I need it stand up over there. So let's see how I can do that. First, we have to say, wait. I'm trying to think here. If we have it standing here, we need it. Be this. Oh, this is really confusing. Okay, so let's reset. You know what? Let's reset. I think that's going to be a very good idea to reset this whole complication. Now we can arrive here. I don't know why I made this so complicated. It was very, very stupid of me. I have no idea why I did that. And now all we need is the lucky position which is going to give us the win of the game. I already did this, didn't I? Okay. That's not doing us anything. That is still not doing us anything. And what do we do this here? One there, one down. Okay, this is not working at all. So we need it to be... Okay, like this, okay. We have it here, we have it here, guys, okay? Ta-da, and da-da, da-da, ba-da, 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 ba-da. Now, if this is empty, I will be angry. Okay, finally, hopefully, luckily, it's... Not empty. Ancient. The code for the gate has been to the following according to the following according to regulations. Five four eight one. Ah yes. Here's a letter to the gatekeeper listing the new code. Five four eight one. Exactly. I have no idea. We might as well. This off right here again again only to use the wrench for four times two three
Okay, let's just quickly. Okay, maybe not. Let's just quickly check. Don't put the for the town gate. We've discovered a letter sent to the gatekeeper containing to change the code for the town's main gate. That code is 5481. Postal code. Inside the guardhouse by inside the guardhouse by the gate, we no found the note saying that the new gate code is Sergeant New Balfre. Cemetery 1, apartment 10, actually it's apartment 14, but anyway, 14, same building where Julianne li lives, she'd head there and check mailboxes, bent on revenge, wow, how many do we need? Did I read this already, yeah, okay, I did, so let's see what this gives us, all the numbers, Number okay, I didn't manage to read that all. Put the metal balls in the correct order in order to rotate the drum with right and left arrows. To select the ball, click on the down arrow. The correct sequence can be found in the diary, which is 5481. Which I'm assuming we have to do it the opposite way. So it's 5418. One, and five, four, and five. So it's five, four, eight, one. Okay, so it's this. The co this code is correct. Now we should put the balls into the correct pockets. So here we have number eight. Okay, what does this do for us? Oh, that was very good for us. And if we can just do the same thing except there. It's actually not too bad. Four, and that has to go there. Last one, at least five. Da 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 now we have access to the city. Oh, it seems a pretty deserted city over here. A sword, which is here, and a star. It's going to be harder and harder once we have more and more things to do. So here we have paint, and we have a horseman plumage. We have paint, which we need a brush. And no paint, no color. Fair enough. Check out what's here. We have the bank. We have a road. And what's this? Oh, nothing else? Okay. I think this one's called Floribanda. Okay, so we have two ways to go here. So let's go first forward. And we have another flower. 15 out of 33. Here is our progress for now. Let's see, we're about halfway into the game. Anything else? Paint. And a recipe. Patient is suffering from daily strength. It was nervous breakdown. A maniac depressive disorder. Long to measure, use the for the 200 milligrams. Two to four times per day. How to use the solvent water? One to nine drink. Side effects: fainting, psychomotor, blurred vision, overdosing may cause drowsiness, confusion, dissociation, convulsions, and strictly contradicted in patients with a disorder. Transition to form an form of comatose state. Doctor Albert or Diner. That's most definitely evidence for the antidote. Uh, yeah. The cat's in our way. If it could, and it could be rabbit. 
let's instruct it with its plane plating okay that is a mouse maybe okay 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 let's just back out here for a second i know we have a note over there but i'm just this in okay there isn't strange recipe how very curious this prescription shows a monsieur foray purchased a certain item from the pharmacy recently but for what purpose did he buy it this may prove useful I think we'd better take it with us as a possible evidence of his guilt. Okay, so evidence of... Where was I? What purpose did he buy it? This may prove useful, I think we'd better take this as a possible evidence of his guilt. So now let's try and go the other way. That gives us two... another option. Let's just check what the fishery place says and that's nothing much the fish needs its mate and the other way which is those up from the inside there must be another way into the farm let's, see. let's just check out the this object scene white horse ballerina crackers bowler coin ink pot compass pendant this is gonna take a long time okay so we have a coin here a butterfly there, I didn't even know we needed to find the butterfly, a pendant, okay, a ballerina, ballerina, oh, uh, okay, we need a clockwork to wind her up, and now we have a ballerina, for what, for what, I should say, a white horse? Oh, very easy to make horse white. And okay. It's clicking randomly at the moment. I can't see my, my or not see but hear my mouse go. I'm creating lots of havoc. I swear, I pressed, I actually pressed on it, like, a pendant, I pressed on it, and then nothing happened. Okay. There's a hat. Oh, a bowler, okay, yeah, that's actually a hat. Bowler. Okay, anyway, crackers. She's there. It's like more cookies, an ink pot, a bell, a purse, a compass. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick. I have been for quite a while now. So there is a compass. A different compass to what we had before. An ink pot. Okay, there. Okay, me. Pot. Okay, there is our pot. Now we need a bell and a purse that should not be too hot but obviously it will be with me you know okay, that's a purse surprisingly enough let's just try and find the bell without a hint and then if it comes to show that we can't find it then we'll just use the hint it's not like it's the end of the world or anything A bell, a bell, a bell, a bell, a bell. A bell. <laughs> okay, never mind. Use the head. I'm stupid. I'm actually really stupid. Okay. It was right to there. Anyway, we have some. I don't think we should give the cat. Investigation is unofficial, so we're not working. In coordination with the police. That means sneaking in our house undetected. Wait, we need the cover of darkness, so the lantern must be put out. I'm sure the raven will prefer a snack. Shiny object that's clutching. It's a. a. a, bo a bolt, a nut. Never mind. 
Uh, don't tell me we have another brick. Okay. A rose by any other name would still be a rose, and now we have a slingshot. Which will help us to take down the lamp. In my boyhood, I must have climbed the tree, but I'll. What? Might have climbed the tree, but I must. Something, unless there's a ladder to climb over. Okay, okay. So now. Our notes. Under the, the cover of darkness. The land behind this fence is that of the foray estate. There are only private investigators, and the authorities may not and may still not view on Sir Foray as a suspect, so must we must not be seen while we search the estate. I propose we sneak we sneak in through the back. But first we'll need to to douse this light. Let's be honest. The darkness and creator of noise will go into light and risk be seen. This is like 50-50% chance. No, because either go into darkness, as I said, and create noise, or take the out, leave the light and risk being seen. We can actually back out here. That'll be great. Okay, finally. So let's see. What can we what can we do? Let's just backtrack here for a bit. See, sure we did not forget anything, of course we did. Still not to know what we're doing here. Easily this barrels props. Not exactly a mallet. Oh, okay. Okay. Open. Maybe it's used use to get some water. What? I'm just gonna check this area. Will area will ri Wow. Okay, I'm having problem speaking today, guys. Sorry for that. And oh, make sure that we do not forget a thing. I don't feel okay with actually going on. So we don't need to actually backtrack to one of these rooms. Anything over here? Or here? I'm pretty sure that there's nothing in there. Okay, so we're good to go. Back to. Okay, I thought there was something on the floor, but there wasn't apparently. Can backtrack way to the city gate and continue from there. Here, I guess, because since there's nothing else to do. Oh, we can go to the left. Okay, let's go there. And where are we now? I have no idea, that's for sure. And we have a book, a rose, medical atlas. This investigation fails. I can always open. A floor shop. What else is there in this room? There's nothing else. Of course there is. Okay. There are always mice around old towns like this. I could use this box to get one of them. Congratulations, you found a box. I'm trying to move the hook, but it's not working. Do we need a screwdriver? Or maybe not. Okay, still have problems opening it. Okay, they're actually all separate. Okay. So we did not actually need a screwdriver. Visitor, Andreina Garcia. Book, Roman de la Rosa. Oh, Renella 4 and Albina Ol Ordina. Al Renella 4, for A, had, like... Borrowed the big atlas of medicine, and so did Albert. Albert, yeah, which is the who is the doctor afraid? I shouldn't say if I'm not afraid. I should say saying if I'm not mistaken. 
Hey, congratulations, you found this small key. The Atlas of Medicine. Monsieur Fauré has been reading at the big Atlas of Medicine. Why would he, a banker, study that book? Kind of missed the fact that also the doctor. Ordered? No, borrowed the same book. But anyway, that doesn't really matter, I'm supposing. Well, I'm sure it does. Oh, yeah, paint for this right here. How? Now, how would we paint the picture when the scene is incomplete? Just look at that statue. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. This means whatever. Do we need this? Do we need this? No. If we can find a mouse, then we can help the kitty cat get out of the way. But I haven't seen a mouse so far. So that's not gonna work. I wonder if we can actually use a slingshot already. Okay. Actually, it might be the first place where we got stuck here. Are there we need. Let's see, what did we need? A glove, a medallion. These things of importance. That's the question we have to ask ourselves here. Why? Why, 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 why? It has to be something. For sure. Maybe a hidden object seen outside? No. We have to go back any further. No, for sure not. Maybe upstairs? Maybe. Mr. Welcome back, detectives. Oh! Have you been able to learn where Victorine was buried? So we actually do need to talk to him. Hello. No, okay. No. Uh, the things we have to do, and the things I have no idea what we have to do. I mean, we have lots of stuff, but what to do is a bit of a mystery to me. Oh! Oh, hello! We have a pub here. Bolt won't budge without the handle. That was very useful, wasn't it? Anything else we can't know? We have the handle, so that's not going to be any wet. Anything else? Oh, saw that already. Hmm. I'm stuck here, guys. Um. 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 Da. Okay, there has to be something else in this room here, other than a book. This book is buck buckled up nicely. Oh, the key, okay. I was actually didn't realize that it needed a key. So now we have another key. A pharmacy office key. Guys, I'm sorry. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna read that. Okay, so this is, I'm guessing, saying what second wife, no, no, the first wife had, which was catalepsy. Just going to leave that there. Now that gives us a little bit more of what to do. Catalepsy predis predisposition. It would seem that catalepsy, the condition of deep sleep that Louise suffered from, can be triggered intentionally intentionally with the right ingredients there's only one reason why monsieur Fauré would want to learn such a thing da, 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 da. okay so now oh yeah here's the pharmacy so we can use this key in order to get in we can use this key in order to get in oh okay from the inside Oh. Well. 
dodge for that idea. We have anything from here to need. Maybe she likes a horseman's whatever. A box? No. A knife. Okay. Glove. Medallion. I don't think so. A ladder? Oh, we need that ladder. Okay, now I know why we need to get through to the... Like, to get rid of the cat, so we can achieve the ladder. Okay, I also gonna make it into a bit more of a comfortable position, because I'm feeling... Use my brain cells for this one. Okay, so here there's nothing. Here, there is nothing much. Oh, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Here we have a sweet smell of success and a rod. A way to get inside. Okay. We have another flower. Conveniently labeled. A mouse. Okay, so here is where we get our mouse. Mouse trap. Or a rod would do. Um, sulfur. Oh, okay. So maybe some cheese if we find it. Wow, my voice is kind of getting hoarse now. Another door, another key to retrieve, which we actually already have. But before we do that, check if there's anything else else we can do. It's a glass cutter, a yin gang. Oh, yes, a yin gang. A fish? No, okay. A butterfly. <coughs> Sorry for that. What's that? A bacterium, okay. What's a butterfly? A Warning sign, a button, a piece of fluff. Yeah. Buzz. Nice. This and that and that and that. This. Female face. Oh, okay. Now I understood. I thought I saw this mask actually move. Anyway. I saw the sparkle there, that's why I clicked on it. And that is a crystal, a glass cutter. A glass cutter. Okay, after this guys, I'll be ending the video yet again on a very late... Um... Timing. I mean, I know, sorry for that, guys, but I don't actually have my timer. I have no idea where that, where that went, and I actually have to inquire about that. But I always forget. Okay, a pawn, an owl, and a glass cutter. Anywhere to be seen? Anywhere? I have no idea, okay. Oh, this is for an owl. Okay, so there's there's the glass cutter and the thing is here. That'll be it for this episode. So we have a glass cutter and we'll find out what to do with that in the episode. So this is Flazy Anti Gamer. Over and out. If you're enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you soon, I guess.